So this is the church that I attend, Mount Olive Church in Chicago. Now, over the summer last year, the roof on this section over here started to leak. I made a couple of attempts to repair it, but it was still dripping inside after a heavy rain. So in order to fix the leak, I had to cut a hole inside the ceiling here, inside this building, to see if I could figure out where the leak was coming from. I had no idea that what I would find up there would lead to my next restoration project. Welcome to Alley Picked. So there was a leak in this roof all up here. I was just gonna patch it, but then it was still wet. So that means that it's an active leak. So I broke out the ceiling and now we're gonna go exploring to see what's up here. This is the front of the old church. What I'm standing in right now is an addition. So what we're gonna see up here was part of the original church. Let's check it out. Oh, this is cool. This is pretty cool. Here, check this out. This is part of the old original church. There's a brick wall up there, stained glass window. Oh, check this out right here. Got an old light here. Nice. We're gonna grab this light. This is a nice little light here. Gotta make sure that there's no power. You know, sometimes with these things, you never know. Could uh, could be some live wires. So I'm gonna get my little tester out. And it appears dead. All right, I can cut that thing out. All right, cut that off of there. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. Love it. So just to give you some perspective, behind this ceiling, mounted on this wall was where I found the light. This door used to be the original outside church door. And this used to be the outside of the church before all this was constructed. Now, here I have some of the original blueprints that were used in the construction of this church in 1927. Come on now. That is cool. Who has 100-year-old blueprints for their church. These include dozens of draftsman drawings for every aspect of this church. Amazing. This is the east elevation of the church building, including the bell tower to the right. The section to the left is the newer construction, but you can see what it looked like originally from the blueprint. This section here above the original door is where I found the light buried in the ceiling. To restore the light, I'm hoping that under this ugly brown paint is a beautiful brass finish, similar to the lights hanging in the church sanctuary. I tried some paint remover, but that was worthless. It didn't do anything except clean the paint. This was going to require a more drastic method. I even tried sandblasting, but that wasn't extremely effective. Over to the grinder with a wire wheel attachment. This is obviously gonna take a long time, so I'm gonna to have to move into the basement where it's a little warmer. The original cloth wiring must be replaced. I'll use this wire from an extension cord. If I just pulled out the old wires, I would have an impossible time replacing them. I'll solder new wires to the old wires and then pull them through. I'll push on one end and then pull at the other. I don't want to risk breaking the wires by pulling too hard.
After many hours of cleaning and buffing with everything covered with this black grime, I had to call an end to cleaning this old light. I probably could have buffed and polished it for several more hours, but I think it's good enough to call it finished. I do think that this needs to go back in the church it came out of, since this was hanging above the door on the church in 1927 after it was built. I think it's only fitting to mount this somewhere else in the church where it can be seen and appreciated. You know, if I keep finding more things like this in the church, I just might have to change the name of the channel from Alley Picked to Church Picked. And if you do want to see another really cool historical discovery from the church, click over here, watch that video. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe. And until next time, I'll meet you in the at the church. <laughs>